Years from now, music will help teach children about this moment in history. Until we get our shit. In the mid and late 60s, with the Black Power and Black Pride movement, it was the godfather of soul. Going back a few years before that, the primary anthem of the civil rights movement and Martin Luther King, We Shall Overcome. Enslaved blacks used spirituals to communicate. Oh, freedom over me. Before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave. Go home to my Lord and be free. All of those, the, the, the movements have always had an anthem. And the three-time Grammy Award-winning group Sounds of Blackness is behind the latest anthem. Director and producer Gary Hine shared a portion of the song Sick and Tired with us and the inspiration. When Brother George Floyd was murdered, uh, I was at the protest nightly, and the first night I was at a protest, I'll never forget this, a young white lady came up to me, and she just recognized me from Sounds of Blackness, and she said, uh, excuse me, Mr. Sounds of Blackness, I know Sounds of Blackness are gonna do some music about this. She said, but please don't make it too happy. Please express uh, what people are feeling. And I said, young lady, I promise you we will do that. And the first thing that came to mind was Fannie Lou Hamer's words, sick and tired of being sick and tired. The phrase sick and tired of being sick and tired was coined by civil rights activist Fannie Lou Hamer, who led voting drives. The latest song calls off the names of men and women killed by police. When we say sick and tired, we're not just talking about those instances, although they would warrant it individually. We're talking about 400 years of it and everything that that represents. Black bodies swinging. In the 1930s, Billie Holiday protested lynchings with her song, Strange Fruit. Strange Fruit hanging. That was her way of saying, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Music is the universal language. And no matter how difficult, Heinz said the latest language is worth learning. We have to deal with this issue before we can hold hands and be happy. Sick and Tired will officially be released on Juneteenth. Back to you. Perfect day for it. For the song, you'll also hear voices of students from the High School for Recording Arts. We'll be right back.